Hi everyone, this is Philip Myers of PEMI Consulting. I attend the American Petroleum Institute, or API, meetings twice a year. Last week I attended the Spring 2024 Refining Meeting. There are many API committees, but the one I attend is called the Committee on Refining Equipment, or CRE. The next slide shows a few subcommittees under CRE, and there are many. There is a CRE subcommittee for tanks called the Subcommittee on Above Ground Storage Tanks, or just SCAST. This committee is further divided into subgroup fabrication and subgroup design. The point of this presentation is not to update you on API, as there is just too much going on. It would be like drinking from a fire hose. Also, these are just my impressions, and if my opinions seep out, they are mine alone, so I am not representing API or anyone else. I am doing this presentation to give people who use standards such as API 653 or 650 an inkling of how the standards development process works and to share a few moments and ideas that impressed me. Here is a personal example of how frustrating not having standards can be. This is the water main line coming into my house and it is PVC instead of the much better copper piping. Naturally, it breaks at weak spots like the junction between the copper pipe and the PVC. This is not the first time this has happened, and when it does, it becomes an emergency. A late night dig into a muddy pit and a hopeless emergency attempt at a repair. A much better city standard would have been to require copper piping from the city meter to the house. I hope this illustrates the potential value of standards. Standardization of practices is how SCAST makes the industry better. Early Monday morning, we start out with a breakfast. During the breakfast, there is usually a presentation. This time there was a presentation on new rules associated with the EPA risk management rule, which sounded pretty ominous for owners and users, implying another administrative layer on oil companies' operations coming up in the next few years. The spring meeting was held this time in St. Louis, and you can see the arch next to the Hyatt Hotel on the left where we had our meeting. Although the St. Louis Cardinals were playing a baseball game, I did not have time to go. I heard it got rained out anyway. On the left, I am leaving to go home from the St. Louis airport, and on the right, I'm catching Uber at the San Francisco airport to get home. There was a beautiful full moon out. Okay, so now on to the main course. I sit on the SCAS subgroup design, and you usually start out with an all-day meeting and a long agenda. The bold print is the header page from our agenda. Again, there's no way to cover the hundreds of agenda items and details being discussed, but here is a list of a few of them to give you an idea. This is a list of three items that were of particular interest to me. The first is about a new standard for the inspection and repair of LNG and cryogenic tanks. This was the first meeting for creating this standard. I suspect it'll take at least five years to get the first edition out on the street. Next, there is a settlement agenda item which was passed to publication at this meeting. This will allow tank inspectors and owners to use laser scan data instead of manually taking measurements around the tank perimeter for analysis of differential settlement. Of course, the old manual method will be left intact. Item 3 is about the 650 wind task group that was formed to review all the current wind requirements. I expect to get the item balloted at the fall meeting. After the fall meeting in November, I will follow up with what the status of these items are and cover thing, anything else that I deem to be very significant. In addition, I will provide a detailed technical walkthrough of the settlement item as well as the wind item when I am able to complete the documentation for these items. Thank you and have a happy, safe journey ahead.